but what are the stakes for for the future of U.S. engagement with the countries of Africa, and why should Americans pay more attention to the continent? Well, General, well, Africa, first of all, is the fastest growing continent in the world in terms of population and economy as well. So Africa of 1.2 billion people, I think if one looked at that in its entirety, somebody should find that associating with Africa is beneficial. And for example, Africa and the United States, if they worked together, it would benefit both Africa and the United States than when you have Africa dealing with individual countries or ignoring them altogether. But I can understand where some in the United States come from. Af United States is, is a big country, it's a powerful country, it's very wealthy, it's, you know, it's technology, all kinds of whatever is needed. It goes to a point that sometimes people get lost into that and think they don't need others or including even small countries to associate with, to grow and to have the influence in the fact that people or big countries want to exercise and that's what underlies big powers competition. So Africa or individual countries of Africa would make the difference if we were to have United States associate with Africa. But for small countries like Rwanda, it's very difficult if you look at Rwanda as a small country in isolation and not in the context of the continent. So it is difficult to maintain a predictable, consistent uh, relationship as Rwanda and the United States. Because within the United States, I will give you quickly an example affecting Rwanda already. You know, we used to be eligible to our goal, African Growth Opportunity Act. And then when Rwanda wanted to grow its textile industries, and therefore reduced on the flow of used clothes into Rwanda, some lobbyists, people who are benefiting in the United States from this trade, and by the way, the used clothes, most of it come from, would come from China. And they were selling it to Africa, and they have been selling, doing that, and they were selling those clothes to Rwanda. And when you wanted to grow our industries, so the lobbyists who were benefiting from this used clothes uh, trade actually influenced uh, the powers that be in the United States to strike off Agoa, Rwanda, so that we came under punishment for, for just doing that, for wanting to grow economy. So you can see a small country trying to grow its economy, its industries, and has to deal with this situation, then there is a backlash and we have suffered for that. Of course, there are exemptions. In the past, we have seen PEPFAR that we benefited from, uh, greatly, and that's how Rwanda built its health systems. Uh, and even that helped us to actually deal with the current pandemic, uh, because we established, we, we, we established those strong systems and we were using support from United States. So, but at the same time, <laughs> United States also, and that affects Rwanda, is well, one of the two countries in the whole world that 
refused to use say, the terminology that was agreed by everybody in the United Nations, referring to the tragic events that happened in our country as genocide against the Tutsis. And you have never understood why, because we even entered into arguments and said, well, if you are talking about Holocaust, you are talking about the Holocaust of the Jews. You are not talking about everybody who died during that period when the Jews were being killed under the Holocaust. So, but for some reasons which they have not even explained, they prefer to say, no, 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 yeah, you know, some other people died. We went into arguments and, but United States comes out, imagine powerful United States as it is, and is arguing on this non-issue that has been sorted out at the UN, we cannot understand what is behind it or who benefits from it. So this creates a, an atmosphere of unpredictability, and that's how it becomes difficult for Rwanda, therefore, to predict what is going to happen going forward in terms of relationship.